Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to Steinsgate. Safe space in which we be awesome, or we are just having a good old time learning some things that maybe we didn't know. Damn it, I didn't even read that. I didn't even read it. And he was in Akiba in 2010. And he was able to build a time machine. And he knew about Okarin's reading spaghetti. <laughs> reading Steiner. He knew about it. Doesn't it fit derek in perfectly? Well, I mean, you know, we could have, uh... What other male characters have been lab mems? Uh, yeah, no, you're right. Only Derek. She's right. Do you remember the day Suzu-san went to meet her father? She thought he would be at the time machine offline me. We know that because we tailed her. Derek-kun was supposed to be there too, right? Well, that meat was seriously important to the history of Saf Japanese Sapphire. At least I got to sneak in while tailing Amishi. Amanishi. I don't remember that. It must have happened because of the D-mail I sent. This is the curse of reading Steiner. Although I keep my memories from the previous world lines, I don't acquire memories of events on new world lines. Going from tallest to shortest. <laughs> Dad told me it was about that meet when I was little. I don't remember what he said exactly, but I thought I might be able to meet him then. So if I had been at the meet, everything would have been f okay. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'd have picked you out of my, as my dad. Still, the evidence keeps piling up. And then there's the time machine's name, FG204 something something. Um, what was it? FG204 second edition version 2.31. That, that naming sense. It's gotta be Darrow. And FG probably stands for Future Gadget. So Suzuka's time machine is Future Gadget number 204. <laughs> Finally, his name, Barrel Titer, has to be Darrow Kun. You come to think of it, last night Mayuri asked how to say bell in Japanese. Bell is teru in Japanese, right, Christian? Karasu nods. Teru. Teru. I'm not pronouncing the A vowel wrong, but still. It's a pun? Okay, Suzu san, say Ashida Itaru ten times fast. Well, oh, why? Just say it and find out. <laughs> I'm not saying it. <laughs> that was very funny. Just now, didn't it sound like Diter? I'll, t I'll take your word for it. It did. Hashi Titer Rouge. For reals? For super reals? <laughs> That's a sentence I thought I'd never see before. <laughs> That's awesome. I like that sentence. For super reals. <laughs> I can't believe it. But with all this evidence laid out in front of me, I can't deny it either. Everyone's jaw drops again, only this time. We're staring at Dara and Suzuka. Suzuka. I think she looks just like her father. I don't think anyone assumed that up until this point. That could be the placebo effect. But now that you mention it, they do kind of look alike. No one mentioned it beforehand, so clearly, clearly, they don't actually think that. They only think that it is a placebo effect. A placebo is something that seems like medicine, but has no medicinal effect. When taken by a patient who believes it to be medicine, it gives them psychological stability. Despite placebos having no medicinal effect, there are cases where a patient's condition improves. It's like when you dilute um, medicine enough, there's a sort of thing where you've diluted enough, it has the quote-unquote memory of the medicine, so you can just sell water that's like has a slight color tinge to it, even though it ha literally has no molecules left from the fucking medicine, and it still works somehow. I don't know. 
Look, look up uh, the the medicine memory and di di diluting of like of, into water. You'll you'll learn that it's uh, it's weird. <laughs> Nice work, Miri. You'll make a great detective one day. A detective? That's the first time anyone said that. I told you, 100% of what she says is a lie. She's hiding, it's all an act. She's hiding her smart behind a dumb. She's such a diss most of the time, but maybe she's more perceptive than anyone knows. I knew it the entire time. <laughs> My, my daughter, Mishi is my daughter. Derry wide eyed points at Suzuha while flapping his lips like a fish out of water. I. Damn. Okay. Hmm. I. That sure is a sentence he said that I won't, but I won't. For once in your life, don't be a perv. Dad! <laughs> They're having an emotional moment, but it's real awkward. <laughs> Suha tries to hold back her tears, but can't. They fall from her eyes and roll down her cheeks. Seeing this, Daru stops his joking and lets Suha speak. I came, Dad. I came to see you in the time machine you built. Yeah. I'm going to fish and finish what you started, I promise. Mm. Yeah. Watch over me, okay? I'm watching. Of course I am. So he walks up to Darrow and hugs him gently. Ah. Darrow awkwardly but firmly hugs her back. Father and daughter reunited across time. Truly glad we could bring them together. By the way, was your mother cute? Request, pet request petite girl with cute face and big boobs. Because of course you'd say something like that. <laughs> That's a secret. Also, fuck you. <laughs> when Suzuho finally steps away from Darrow, she's smiling once again. Well, that's very nice. Well, that takes care of everything I want to do on this world line. I guess I should be going. M w w wait! You're going already? Don't you have more to say to your father? What am I doing? So his mind is set. I know that nothing I can say will convince her to stay. It's madness to even try. If she stays, Mayuri dies. I know that. So why am I trying to stop her? No, I'm fine now. I'm going to get an IBM 5100 just like I promised. She looks at us with the face of a warrior. A part-time warrior. I'll bring it back to I'll bring it to you and Akia Bai. That's my duty. And I'll and I'll see it through. The rest is up to you. Change the future, please. Nobody speaks. Nobody nods. We don't have the words. But she sees it in her faces. Resolve. Suzuha has entrusted us with her will and her mission. We meet her gaze, each of us, and silently swear to protect them to the end. The future Suzuha came here from, uh, the future Suzuha came from is not the future we desire. In Suzuha's time, Darrow and I fought to change it. This time, we'll make sure it never happens. Mayuri will live, Karasu will be free. Suzuha will grow up knowing her father. We must change the future. That all these things may come to pass. Sarija. Well, see you in 35 years. Well, I guess it'll only be a few hours for you guys. <laughs> oh, almost forgot. The time machine gives off terrific ultraviolet rays when it jumps, so make sure not to look directly at it. With that final warning, Suzuha boards the time machine, she waves once, and then the hatch closes behind her. That was the last we saw of her. Moments later, the machine comes to life. Uh, a shrill alarm starts ringing. There are no other sounds. It makes less noise than I'd expect. Also, I'm staring directly at the thing. People on the street below start shouting and cheering at the satellite's sudden activity. They all look up and point. My phone vibrates. I quickly take it out and open it. The mail is from Suzuha. Ah, hey. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
When I failed to stop her on a previous world line, she sent me the exact same message before leaving. But this time, the world holds a completely different- the word holds a completely different meaning. This time, it feels good. Whoa. I lift my eyes from the message to see the space around the time machine begin to warp. A cocoon of light appears and envelopes the fu fu fuselage. I squint my eyes against the brilliance. Susa. Susa. We will never see her again. Not this one. Yes, we can seek her out in our time. I know that I will make the effort. But the next time we meet, an immense gulf of time will have divided us. No matter how hard we wish it were different, she will not be the girl we knew. All of a sudden, Dara takes a step into the light. Suza! I'm sure we'll meet again! I'll do my best until then. I hate myself for not knowing any other way to say it, but I'll do my best. I'll do my best, I promise. So, Suzuha, do your best too. Those words probably can't reach her anymore. As the light grows more intense, I raise my hand to shield my eyes. Bathed in radiant particles, the cocoon slowly, slowly unfurls. The next thing I know, Suzuha's time machine has vanished into thin air, leaving a hole the size of a dump truck in Rowdy Can's wall. The air is thick with the smell of ozone, and it seems to pulse softly where the machine stood. We stand there for a while, staring silently at the empty spot where the summer breeze blows gently past. After everything was said and done, there was only silence that met us, as if the wind were fate itself. Unfortunately, we don't have time to mourn her departure. In about an hour and a half, Moeka's group will attack the lab. Before that happens, we need to acquire the IBM 5100 that Suzuha went to 1975 to obtain. The time machine's sudden disappearance has thrown the area into chaos, which makes it easy for us to slip out unnoticed. See you in 35 years, Suzuha said. 54-year-old Suzuha should be here in Akiba. Before she left, we decided that the time machine's disappearance would be her cue to bring the IBM 5100 to the lab. But when we return to the lab, there's no 54-year-old woman waiting for us. It seems Suzuha hasn't come yet. <sighs> no more running! Scientists are not good at running. <laughs> Kirisu uh, gasps for breath while Mary calmly munches on a banana, unaffected, because she's actually athletic. As I check the lab for any sign of Suzuha, a line of red numbers catches my eye. The meter reads 0.337187%. I don't see a percentage. Divergent hasn't changed. Reading Shiner didn't activate this time, so I suspected that might be the case. Let's think this through. I thought that Divergence would change that the instant Suzuha obtained an IBM 5100 in 1975. But maybe there's something else that needs to happen. Will it change the instant Suzuha hands me the IBM 5100? Or will it change when we use the IBM 5100 to delete my email from CERN's database? Likely that one. At any rate, we uh, all we can do now is wait for Suzuha to arrive. Suzuha is 54 by now, right? After catching his breath, Daru speaks. My daughter is 30 years older than me. I don't know if I want to say that. It feels weird, man. She was just the same age as you. It's the same principle. You know, it wouldn't be unusual for her to have grandchildren by that age. You mean I could have great grandkids? I don't know if I'm ready for that, man. <laughs> just be super nice to them. That's what grandpas do. Please don't call me grandpa. <laughs> oh shit, a knock on the door. Nice. Time to rhyme. Must be Suzuha. Everyone looks at me with a strange mixture of anticipation and anxiety. I slowly open the door. Hey! Okabe. Okabe. Instead of an old woman, we get a wall of muscle. <laughs> Our, you know, could be both, but it doesn't. Our disappointment is palpable. Oh, it's you. Hey, have you seen my part timer? Mr. Braun peeks into the lab. If you're looking for Suzu-san, she went 35 years... 
Wow, damn, that was very English sounding. Hang on. Shut up, Mayuri. <laughs> that was the most English sounding English that's ever been in this game. Here's who covers Mary's mouth. <clears throat> Seki! You know something? Uh, you know something? Where'd that girl run off to? She took the last couple of days off and I don't know when she's coming next. We won't even, she won't even answer her phone. We don't have time for this, but I can't just order him to leave, not unless I want another cracked skull. She said she went back to her hometown. She's probably gone for good. What? You sure? That brat, she didn't say a word to me. Feature is changing. Well, I mean, not really. <laughs> because that would have happened anyway, because she went through it. She, she, like, physically left. Isn't this proof? On my previous leaves, Mr. Braun never came by the lab. Yeah, because she wasn't gone yet. This must be related to his trip to 1975. Surely it's a good sign. Now, as long as the attractor field doesn't amend history again, Mr. Braun sighs and turns to me with a serious expression. Well, whatever. I've got something for you, Akabe. Oh, oh, nice. For for me, he hands me an envelope. It's addressed to Akabe Rintaro, but there's no stamp or postmark. The name Hashida Suzu. Nice. It's written on the back. That's really nice. Oh, what is this? It's from the lady who used to own the build this building. Hey, that's awesome. She bought the building. Led some line, you know, it's it's real good, real nice. I gotta pause over here. Right but yeah, no, I'm reading that, and it's really cool, right? I'm back, by the way. <laughs> Obviously. I'm reading that, and it's really cool. Um, because it's, like, she, you know, bought the building, she owned it for a while. Like, she made it so that Okabe could have his, his lab and whatever. And it's just really, really neat, and I like that. I like that a lot, actually. She asked me to give it to you on this day. Uh, who? How did, how did you know Suzuza then, by the... Anyway. Suzu-san? Suzu-san, of course. The name on the back reads Hashida Suzu. Hashida is Deru's surname. Where is she now? Uh, uh, she passed away ten years ago. Passed away? She's dead? Wave of dizziness nearly sweeps me off my feet. How... how old was she? Mid-40s, a thing. The age fits. Thank you for taking care of this letter, Mr. Braun. Eh? Eh? Is it from Suzu-san? Seriously? Why did he have... why did he have it? Mr. Braun clearly doesn't understand our reaction, and we're about, not about to explain, because fuck that guy. <laughs> I thank him again, he grumbles a bit and leaves. As soon as he's gone, I break the seal and open the envelope. Inside is a handwritten letter, the characters are slightly messy, as if her hand was shaking as she wrote it. Oh no, she was probably crying. Our eyes, transfixed, begin to read. Okay. The Okabe Rintaro. It's me, Amane Suzua. She did Taita's daughter. It's been a long time. Although for you, I'm sure only a few hours have passed. The date is June 13th, the year 2000. Meaning I'm writing this ten years before you will read it. I'll get right to the point. I failed, I failed, I... Oh, okay. That's, that's just not, that's just not good. The date is June 14th, the year 2000. About nine to ten years before you will read this. I failed. I only remembered one uh, who I was one year ago today. The day Nostradamus said the king of Terra could come. Stupid, stupid. The king of Terra? He should have come and burned us all anyway. Away. 
For 24 years, I forgot who I was. All I could remember was my name. Finally remembered one year ago. The day the King of Terror was supposed to come, but didn't. There's no King of Terror, but I want to die. The repairs were incomplete. The time machine malfunctioned when I arrived in 1975. I couldn't remember anything. They found me lying in the street like a broken doll and took me to a hospital. Now I've been living in, uh, on my own for years, but that's as Hashida Suzu. A normal person who forgot the duty and mission of Amani Suzuha, uh, I only remembered last year. I'm a failure. Something went wrong. I don't know what. The repairs were incomplete. But it's not Dad's fault. It's mine. I should have gone straight to 1975. I shouldn't have stopped in 2010. But I was selfish and now the future is doomed. There's no IBN 5100. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. For what purpose have I lived to this age? I forgot my duty and lived that carefree life instead. Now my life has no meaning at all. It's worthless. Worthless, worthless. I wish I hadn't remembered. I'm glad I finally remembered. I'm glad I had the chance to say sorry. Forgive me. My plan failed. I spent this whole year asking myself why. I finally figured it out. If I hadn't postponed my leap to 1975, this wouldn't have happened. Okabe Rintaro. After the offline meet, you stopped me from going to 1975. I was really happy, but that's where it all went wrong. I should have left, I shouldn't have waited. That was my last chance. That night, there was a thunderstorm. My time machine was flooded. If you can go back to that day, please, please let me leave. Then I can bring you the IBM 5100. I can fulfill my mission. Please, that's all I want. I promised Dad. This was his dream. I want to change the future. I'm sorry. My life was meaningless. Jesus. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah, no, I'm... I would be crying too. Like, I, I almost am. It, it, they're, 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 the tears are in the eyes, but... I'm at 23 minutes. I uh, went over because I didn't want to interrupt that. Thank you, everyone, for... Uh, for watching, and of course, from Kiwi, even great to you yourself for a delightful day. Goodbye.